Hey, it's John from Addicted Blaze. Got a quick unboxing I want to do. Picked up this knife and scissor kit at Menards the other day. I think it was on sale for like $10. I thought I'd check it out. I'm going to use my Ganzo 727, I believe. Titanium bonded blade, serrated blade, bottle opener, notch blade for cutting bones. Feel pretty good. Got a comfortable grip. There's like coated and rubber inserts there. A bottle opener, serrated. Hmm. Might be able to use those at work. Well, I need scissors every now and then at work anyway. Now this, uh, seven inch steel blade folding knife, stainless steel, straight end hot bill blades, individual blade locking system, industrial strength body, three times harder than steel. Blades stay sharper longer. Pretty light. A couple of nail nicks for opening it. Doesn't lock up real tight. Got a really thin blade at the edge. Hollow ground. Got a little plastic button here up here for to unlock it with. Push the lock bar up. Doesn't have really have any detent or anything to speak of it don't even really don't even really stay closed barely shake it out it starts to open up I don't want to carry that in my pocket or not might be able to throw it in a toolbox or in a glove compartment or something and then there's a wicked hawkbill blade I bet the stains are sharp. It's hollow ground, too. Let's see how sharp they are. Freshen this edge up a little bit. I stop it a couple times. It's pretty sharp right now, too. That one at least has a little detent to it. it. Still has a lot of play. I do light cutting and stuff with it. But it does have detent. This other side <laughs> doesn't have no detent at all. I might be taking this back even though it was only $10. This should at least be halfway decent. See how sharp this side is. Well, that's pretty darn sharp. Pretty sharp. Maybe if this other is pretty, one side has no detent at all, hardly. One even stays shut, and the other side does. But they both have a lot of, a lot of play side to side and up and down on it, and they're pretty cheaply made, obviously. I guess the scissors are the best thing about it. They feel pretty nice. They feel like they should cut pretty good. Let's just see here.
see how they do with some fabric. Hmm. Very nice. Taking this flannel, rolling it up like three times, presses right through it. Got this piece of leather belt, like an eighth inch thick. Not bad, not bad at all. Yeah, I think these themselves are worth the 10 bucks. 